Here's my three top trends in 2023 in the world of NFTs. Big companies will embrace the NFTs way more than we've seen in the last year. Not in the form of crypto punks and uh, you know the board apes as, as, as just pure art, but what will they do is use the NFTs as the utility. There's one company that organizes events throughout the whole world. It's I think hip hop concerts. And what they did is releasing an NFT as a ticket that allows you to attend any of the events that they organize. And the advantage of this NFT is obvious. You can buy one pass and then if you don't want to attend those events anymore, you just sell it, right? So it's a win-win for both sides. So this ticket that they release is still having a form of some kind of art. Yes, this is the obvious opportunity for all NFT artists because those tickets definitely will need some kind of, yes, a collection of huge numbers. The days when NFTs were just a plain image art is probably gone, but now when this utility thing comes along with the art, that's when it gets interesting. The next trend is lying in community building. We've seen this with the NFTs of Logan Paul and his Polaroids. Basically, each Polaroid that he sells gives something to his community. All the money that he gets from selling the Polaroids goes to one, let's say, single storage. And the whole community will decide what to do with that money. You know, it's not Logan, but it's gonna be the community. And this concept of giving the power to the community is tied with the philosophy of Web3, which is called decentralized organizations. The sunrise is gone. The idea of building the community with NFTs is nothing really new. We've seen that with the board X, for example, and the whole transition into the metaverse. So more of that is coming as well because the other niches just realized that this the whole NFT concept is really powerful. With the recent breakthrough of all the AIs from generating the text with ChatGPT to all the guys called Dali, you know, generating uh, just really interesting and funky uh, art pieces. So all these are basically some kind of a form of generative art. The reason why generative art is so popular is because it counterbalances all the illustrative beautiful work. And the second reason is because all the guys and people in the NFTs are kind of tech savvy people. So they like technology, they like algorithms and you know AIs and in general just something that is not living. That's probably a really a thin ice because I mean those algorithms are kind of living as well. The success of collections like Fidenza for example that's really really huge will definitely definitely attract more investors and also the creators into generative works. So we as NFT creators now need to think, what is coming next? So we got pixel art, the CryptoPunks. Then we have 2D illustrations, that would be Bored Apes. I don't know why I always mention those two, but I guess you know why, they're just the biggest. And not only Bored Apes, but we also got Doodles, insanely, insanely popular, um, you know, NFT collection, it's all 2D, right? And so now transitioning into 3D world, what would be a collection that you would have in mind in a 3D space? The sun is back. I just gave you a time to think about a 3D collection that would be really popular. Any answers? So the world of 2D art is saturated, there's no question. Then the other spectrum with all the generative funky art, that's kind of covered in a way that uh, we have endless possibilities there, but they still generate 2D images. My point is that we are still waiting for a 3D collection that would go all the way to the moon. 
So my last prediction is that there will be more 3D work. Thank you so much for watching and Tha is out.